welcome girls, guys and new subscribers back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, just going through with you the look that I've worn today for, it's just like a natural sort of look and I'm actually missing something. So I'll go through and grab that now, remembering what it was that I'd used for my eyes. So it's just a basic look, I'm talking through it with you. Um, some of the items I won't be using, but I'll be showing them to you and just giving you um, a little rough idea of what to use or just find some products that you could use to substitute these items. First off, we're going to start off with a nice clean face. I didn't use any primers, but you can use any primers, moisturize how you wish. First, I started off with the Rimmel Match Perfection. It's a gel based foundation, it's really nice texture, creamy, I love it. I did do a little haul um, way back my Chemist Warehouse haul and actually I like this a lot. But I did use this one this time, I have quite a few um, foundations and I honestly like this one the most for this look today. Next, I set that up with a powder. It is the Classics Press Powder in Cream Beige. So hopefully you can see that. Like I said, powder form, just to set it. It was close to my skin colour. Uh, you know, it didn't really bother me that much. It was a bit orange, but you know, where in winter, I don't even know if you are going to see this, but it was here. So it's there. In that area. I don't know if you can see it, but that was the next thing I did. Just set that with a powder puff or whatever you want to call it. I'll actually find one for you. Just set it with one of these. This one's a bit dirty, so I set it with one of those. I'm sure you girls have plenty of those. Next, in no particular order, I'm pretty sure I did my eyes this morning, so I grabbed the Jordana Quick Liner. I use this, this is a cream based windy up pen. I did my bottom lash line just to about the middle and then my top lash line just in up there in the waterline and then I used my finger just to smudge the rest of the eyeliner across the other side. Next I used two different mascaras. I used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, Lash Blast, whatever you want to call it, um, no offense to anyone, so I use that one first, I'm sure a lot of you girls have this, uh, apparently it's a really good mascara, not really too much of a fan on it, I guess I'll get used to it, and because I didn't like this mascara this morning, I had used the Volume Express Lift Up Mascara, really am a fan of this one, I love the brush, so that was a really nice mascara this morning and I didn't curl my lashes. Next I probably would have done my blush, well actually I used bronzer this morning. So I used the Astralis bronzing powder and you can get that price line. Um, I think I also saw it in Kmart, you know, just anywhere I guess. The powder looks like that, I'm sure you've seen it all advertised before, a little bit of sparkle. I'm sure a few girls have done little reviews and stuff. So I'm just going to go over this side now and just do a swatch for you. So that there would be the swatch over here. Really nice. Uh, just a nice shade if you wanted something just a little bit brighter. I use that with my bronzing brush. Uh, bronzing brush. Uh, bronzer brush. Well, it's not really, but I just had a spare brush and I just called it my bronzing brush so I applied that with a brush. Next I used um, a natural sort of looking foundation, uh, foundation, eyeshadow. I used the Maybelline Colour Tattoo and I'll show you how I applied this actually. I got a little bit on my finger as so. This is the Bad to the Bronze. A really nice eyeshadow. You can use it as a base as everyone says or and build up on it or you could just use it by itself so I used it as a base and I built up on it this morning 
So I just used a little bit, I just put it on my finger, that was quite fine actually. Just only on my eyelid. Next I grabbed a brush and I'll just grab a different brush. On it. So if, I don't think you girls would have this palette, it's just um, one that came in a kit around Christmas time. So it's just a normal sort of eyeshadow palette. And it's got your four sort of nude kind of shades. This morning I grabbed this, this middle colour here. So that shade there, I don't know if you can see that, but I will do a little swatch on my hand through the middle here. I used that colour this morning in the middle. And just patted that on. And then sweeped it across. I'm actually going to use a different brush because I didn't use that brush this morning. There it is. Just something bigger so it doesn't take up much time. Yeah, that's what I did for that. And then just for a lip gloss, I just used a baby lips. It wasn't this one, it was the pink and blue one. This is cherry flavoured. Um, yeah, just use that as a lip gloss. I did try a lipstick this morning and then a lip gloss over the top. And I thought too much bronze, so I'm just going to tone it down with a nice nude lip. That there was my overall look. Here is the end presentation or end result. Um, and my hair was up tight in a bun. You can do whatever you want with your hair. But I guess this is just a really easy, quick, sort of nude, bronze kind of look you girls could try out. If you've got any questions or comments, don't be afraid to leave them down the bottom. I am nice to anyone who has any feedback at all. Don't really care if it's good or bad. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you girls do like this, maybe learnt something from it or something. I might see you girls and guys in my next video.